Dime Dropper fam, tonight is the night. Vlog number five on the season. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, Phoenix twice, OKC, and then San Antonio. Vlog number five, the night we've all been waiting for. Paul George's return to Into a Dome. His second game of the season. I cannot wait to see the reception. I'm officially in the supporters section, so that's great. Back where I belong, and we're gonna make so much noise tonight. Apparently, there's gonna be a tribute video. Um, we'll see what kind of stuff gimmicks the supporter section does. But we need to be ruthless tonight. There's only been one time in the history of the Clippers where a guy's been booed on every touch, and that was Elton Brand. That game was not nationally televised, and it wasn't even close to a sellout. This is different. This is documented. This is going to be the first time a player gets booed on every touch relentlessly by Clipper fans, and it's going to be a great look to me on national television. So let's see it. I'm not even going to react during the video tribute if they're doing it before the game. If it was after a timeout, like the first quarter or something, I would give them my applause. But you know what? I'm just going to film, and we're going to hear the rest of the crowd and see how it goes. For the rest of the game, I'm going to be booing relentlessly. I hope he fucking gets clamped. This is a huge night for us. We're going to ask fans about him and everything. Cue the music. Go Clippers. Need this one. Belts are fastened. Lou Williams for the win. Bingo! Oh my goodness. The land for the reason drop down. Seeing Kenyon Martin Sr. here to support his son. Great to see him, man. He's so tall. Let, I loved him in 2012 for us, man. I loved him. Mason, you're wearing Paul George's jersey. Give yep. me one word to describe Paul George. Dipshit. <laughs> so, clearly you have some strong feelings about him. Tonight's his return. How are we feeling? What's the reception going to be like from you? Well, here's what it, it's going to be. He will be cheered very politely during the tribute video. And in the other 99% of the night, we are going to boo him. We are going to boo him, and we are going to boo him. We are going to make that man just seriously think about his actions. And which actions, you ask? Well, all of that, frankly. Just everything. Now, we'll, we'll show him that maybe we're a little more of a first option than he is. That's all I got to say on that. Are we beating him tonight, though? That's the main thing. Hell yeah, we're going to beat him. Blowout or close game? Um, honestly, it'd probably be close. I don't think it'll be a blowout. I think, I think he'll actually try, which is the thing. Uh, he definitely wants to win, but then again, we definitely want to beat his ass, so, yes. you know, it'll be close. There we go. Frank Neal, too. Give me one word to describe Paul George. One word? One word. Bitch! No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I knew that was going to come at some he, point. He, uh, no, I, honestly, I, I want to be nice about it. He, he, he's cool. He, he's all right. You know what I mean? He, you cool, you cool guy. It's whatever. Whatever. Whatever's a good word. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. So how are we feeling tonight? Hostile? You gonna boom on every touch? Man, hostile. Doing? I mean, honestly, I really gotta check the tone of the video they gonna play. Um, but as soon as that video ends, I'm booing them. You know what I mean? Like that's just gonna be the energy. But we'll see how it goes. I, I don't know. The video might make me feel a different way about it. He was a pretty instrumental part of our franchise for the past half decade. Um, for good reasons and bad. Um, and we're just going to see how it goes. But I'm for sure booing him. I just don't know if I'm going to be, like, mad hostile about it. We getting the W, though? We're Absolutely. Absolutely. Tonight's matchup preview. PG sucks. You fucking suck, PG. The other guard, number nine, Kelly Oubre. At center, number five, Andre Fuck you. Drummond. At one forward, number eight, Paul George. <laughs> Yeah! You already know what 
time it is, baby. Hostility on a hundred, on a trillion. Fuck Paul George, baby! He's gonna hear it every second. First quarter, atmosphere's looking good, except for the fact that there's so many empty seats, man. You gotta stop the charging for parking the way they are. It's outrageous. We're looking like an embarrassment right now in terms of attendance. And the Kawhi stuff, I mean, you wanted to, again, I'm gonna keep saying it. You wanted to re-sign him to guarantee filled seats for a new arena? It's not happening. But it's a great atmosphere. If KBJ wasn't so bad and we just shot our open threes and boxed out, we'd be winning right now, but we're down by three. So we gotta box out, shoot our open shots. all turn around. There's some signs being shown. Liberation, our guys are back in action Saturday, but we'll be taking on the... Call me! Call me! Call me! Call me! 
the line. Looking to complete the three-point play. Halftime, we just committed a silly foul, so the Sixers might have a lead at half. Paul hasn't actually missed a shot, which is hilarious. I mean, it, it's one of, one of those games where <laughs> he's just making his contested jumpers, but he's living off a diet of tough shots, so let's see if it continues. I mean, he's not being super aggressive, and he hasn't had too many minutes, but, man, if he's on one of those heaters, that could be a nightmare situation for us. If Harden could just start making his threes, that would be really nice. Otherwise, he started making some better passes in that second quarter, but just got to keep rebounding, keep defending. And then hope we take it home, man. It's not gonna be easy. We're gonna need some legs to close. A little Norman Powell action, hopefully. But I love the booze repeat. Let's keep them going. For the Clipper fan, Caesar Dime Dropper fan. What's your name, bro? Uh, Caesar. I go Caesar. by the Great One Twenty Three Twenty Three on Twitter. There we go. So let me ask you this, man. Crazy night. Paul George's return. First, give me one word to describe Paul George. Damn, I have so many words for him, but uh, wow, disappointment. Yeah. So. <laughs> What do you think about the booze so far? Uh, but, uh, the booze? Yeah. You well deserved. Well deserved. I think the tribute. I didn't hear that many booze on the tribute. He deserved it. I mean, he did play what five, six years with us. So, no booze on the tribute. But other than that, every time he touches the ball, he's getting booed. So what do you think of the game so far, though? We're, I, don't, I didn't even see those free throws at the end. But one possession game either way. Yeah. Right in there. What do you think? We win this game. We're back to 500. Yeah, yeah we're going to win this game. Harden needs to step up a little bit more. Get some more points. Uh, KPJ's not doing anything for us. Uh, we need Miller in there. I've been. Preaching Miller needs to get at least some touches, but Coffee needs to step up as well. Hi, right, Jacob. Paul George's return. First off, give me one word to describe PG. He's playing pretty good right now, but he's still a bum. Bum? Okay. Bum is the word. Uh, are you booing him today? And if you if you are, why? I've been booing booing him the whole time. I shouted out him. I said, uh, take off number eight. Well, he's a disappointment, man. He was a disappointment with us when we needed him most. He vanished, um, and then at the end, he talked shit about us when he left. So, and he's always acting like a victim. I don't like that, bro. Yeah. All right, well, are we going to win this game, bro? It's been tight so far. What do you think of the team so far this season? I like Norm, man. Norm, Norm's uh, more opportunity. He's doing great. Um, and I just, I think I like the team's effort, man. I, overall, our team's effort is great. Um, the attitude is great. The only thing i kind of shaky about is the second unit. The second unit is suspect, man. We need, I think we need Miller in there or we need, uh, what's his name, Bones in there because, KP, KPJ is just not doing it, man. Seems like everybody's tired of him. Are we winning this game, though? 100% we're winning this game. Let's go. Natasha, okay. yeah. good to see you. Good to see you. Now, question, Paul George. Give me one word to describe PG. Um, last year. That's two, That's words, two words, but we'll you take it. You get it, you get it. We'll take it. So now let me ask you this. Are you booing him, and if so, why? If not, why? Of course I'm booing him. I love Paul George, but uh, in the Intuit Dome, he's the enemy. That's right. So no ill, no... Uh, you know, hard feelings for him long term? No, of course. So what do you think about our team right now? It's my first time talking to you this season without Kawhi still, but a gritty team. Um, I think I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, I'm loving the new guys. I would like a couple more wins, but uh, I'm having a good time. And are we going to win tonight? Of course. There we go. Thank you. Oh, it's good to see you. First time seeing you this season. This is a big night. You've been a Clipper fan for a while. What do you think of the atmosphere and the, and the you know, vitriol Paul George is receiving? 
Uh, I like the atmosphere. Uh, it's been mixed in my section. Some people have been clapping, others have been booing, uh, but obviously the wall's been booing. Uh, so, unfortunately, he seems to be playing better than he did last game, which is kind of a bummer, but, uh, you know, the Cliffs just got to keep shooting, and someone's got to get hot in the three in the second half. The question is, are you booing? Uh, what? Are you booing, though? Uh, I booed a couple times, but I did clap for him during his video because he did give us something. He spent five years of his life here, so we owe him that. Now, how do you feel about this game right now? It's a close one. Really wouldn't want to lose to the guy. What do we got to do to get this done? We need our defense needs to ratchet up a level. Uh, Dunn's playing average, not above Dunn. He's playing good defense for a normal person, but not Dunn defense. Yeah. He needs to ratchet up a little. And unfortunately, I think Kai Jones needs to go to the G League for a bit. Wow. He looked lost out there in, the, uh, in his time. Okay, appreciate you, Ross. Sure. We winning this one? Oh, we're winning this one. There we go. All right, Sonny, what is, have you, first off, are you booing Paul George, and if so, why? You know, I didn't want to boo Paul George. I was like, I, maybe he's going to get a tribute video. I wanted to see him, but then everybody else is booing him, and you have to do it. You know, you just have to get in it. Uh, but we, we love him. I just wish he was on our team. That's are, are you, um, what, give me one word to describe Paul. Tenacious. Okay, well, you're the first person to go complimentary on that. Now let me ask you this game, one possession game, are we going to pull this out? Yes, 100%. Harden to Zoo for a dunk, and then T-Man on the side. That's what I mean. Oh, boy. Appreciate you, man. All right, Zach, seeing you every game now, <laughs> let me ask you a question. You said you're going to be ready to boo Paul George. Are you booing him? If so, why? All night, I can't wait to ask you why. But All night. Uh, look. We did everything for PG. We acquiesced for him. We brought in all his friends. He went down. He had one great run with us, and we wouldn't have gone to the Western Conference Finals without him. But honestly, man, like, he didn't show up in big moments besides that run. And he called us the B team. Yeah. We literally, like, I feel like he's, like, so, uh, such two-faced. Like, he's a two-faced guy. He kind of says the right thing when he thinks he needs to, but it's... It's like you're at home in L.A. and you don't want to be here anymore. Like you wanted what Kawhi wanted. We offered that to you. And you said no. You went and got the bag. That's fine. But uh, no love for PG tonight, baby. And, and I was going to ask you one word to describe PG, but you said two-faced. Two-faced, yeah. Fake. There we go. We're going to win this one. It's a close one. We're getting it. And what's the key to closing this one out? It's going to be another close one, I think. I, I think Harden needs to get going. Yeah. Norm needs to continue to attack uh the bucket, and then we gotta dominate in the paint like we are already. Yeah. And then. Yeah, man. We got this. Why is it siblings? Why is it siblings a choice? Get your vote in. Why is it siblings a choice? The crowd thinks they are strangers. Oh, they are strangers. I hope they are. What is the truth? Their relationship status is they are strangers. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's go. BG sucks. BG sucks.
six, race number 14, Ricky Council of the Fort. Hey, PG, I'd rather have Norman Powell. You're above. Oh, Norman's oh, better oh, than oh, yours. Oh, Your night is over. Podcast B. Podcast B. Podcast B. You suck. You suck. He suck. PG suck. PG suck. PG suck. PG suck. Yeah. Outside into it dome where the Clippers have just beaten Paul George in his return could not have gone much better except if we had PG you could, you be, be, except if PG had went been worse individually but we still got the dub double digits DL2 first blowout win of the season no good man I, I, I'm not gonna lie I, I was kind of nervous I thought PG was gonna hit like a game winner against us or something like that but I'm glad we knocked the hell out of them we did it without MB though, so like let's, we didn't have Kawhi. Let's not let's not be too nice. I mean, but you know, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, but it felt good to see him just get stripped back to back possessions, get smacked up. He made a couple shots, yeah, sure, whatever. But we beat the hell out that motherfucker, and I love watching that shit happen live. What do you think of the atmosphere, man? Boot on every touch. I mean, obviously not uh, not a full house, but yeah, I mean, so I was in the supporter section for tip for like the first quarter. Um, we were booing him like pretty, you know, immediately, you know, just as soon as he was warming up, when he stood up, when he sat down, when he touched the ball, when he passed the ball away, it was phenomenal. Um, and then I moved to like club seats where, where like my parents take us out. It was completely quiet, but people were still talking shit and just the animosity, the hostility, it was different levels. You know what I mean? Like at the wall, it was up here and at the club level, it was like at a minimum, but it hit that threshold. You know what I mean? And that's what we got to do is hit the threshold every time. Two wins in a row. How are we feeling overall on a winning streak, maybe? Overall, I feel pretty good. You know, all, all the players are, like, finding their roles. Like I mentioned last time we talked, um, people are, like, fitting into what they're supposed to do. And, you know, it feels a little bit better now. Um, all I want, honestly, and you used to ask for, like, the best and the worst player and shit. And I look forward to that because I want to show love, but I also want to spread hate a little bit. I need more aggression from Terrence Mann. The only time I really saw him like lock in and make a couple like layups and like hit those shots was after Paul George embarrassed the hell out of him and swatted that easy shot that he tried to hit over him. So I need that from him. And if it takes him getting embarrassed every game, then someone's got to embarrass him like the moment he wakes up before he gets here. But aside from that, I think everybody's doing real good. Uh, everybody's meeting expectations of not exceeding them, especially Chris Dunn. And I hope it continues. Appreciate you, bro. Great win. Yeah. Thanks, man. Peace. Outside into a dome where the Clippers have just gotten a big win and PG's return. Rob, how are we feeling about that one? How did you feel about the atmosphere, man? I absolutely loved it. It was super good. Um, we were all booing PG super loud the whole game. Literally every time he got the ball, I didn't. I thought it would kind of die down as the game went on, but it did not. Um, he, even, he, even, uh, he even waved off the, the wall for a second, so that was fun. It was great. Thoughts on the performance overall, though. First double-digit win of the season. We'll take that, absolutely. Yeah, Harden needs to get a little more efficient from the field, but um, what, Derek Jones Jr., Zubac, and obviously Norman Powell, all those guys were like 70% or above today. I think Powell was like 8 of 10, 26 points. Uh, pretty good, pretty good for, for a guy who's not really even like seen as an all-star or anything right now. Back to 500, winning streak on the way? Oh, for sure, man. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Shout out Norman Powell. Thank you, Rob. All right, man. Appreciate Thanks. you. Outside into a dome, Ganal, Evan just beat Paul George in his return. You said you were going to have some words for him, some booze for him. How'd you feel about it tonight? Oh, man, it was great. I was getting a little scared. He hit a couple shots there in the beginning of the game. I thought he was about to have one of those heaters, but 
then it turned into one of those Paul George games, turnover after turnover. Um, we broke it open in the second half, never looked back. It was, it was, it was a great oh. night. It was a great night, man. I have no, no complaints. Great night. Let me ask you this, man. Norman Powell's on a complete heater. I think we all knew he was capable of a little bit more, but this is unbelievable. Thoughts on him? Hey, it's my first ever Clippers game. All I can say is, fuck you, Paul George. Clippers Nation, baby. There we go. What about Norm? What do you got about Norm? Norman Powell, he's been the engine of our offense. I mean, um, it's unbelievable. He's playing at an all-star level, and he keeps this going. I think we're going to we're gonna have a campaign for him to send him to the Bay in February. Norman Powell's doing this thing. I can't wait for Kawhi to come back. You see, if he could keep this up, I know his role will minimize, but, man, he's, going, he's doing his thing. Absolutely. You heard it here first. Norman Powell, all-star, San Francisco. Start voting now. Appreciate you, bro. Great win. Thank you, guys. Uh, outside into a dome where the Clippers have just beaten the Philadelphia 76ers in Paul George's return. What's your name, guys? Say they watch the channel. My name's Harrison. My name's Esteban. Harrison Esteban, how we feeling, man? Paul George getting booed on every touch. Any words for him? I lost my voice. Booing that guy, man, he sucks. Any win we can get against Paul George for the rest of his career, we'll take it. Take it. What did you guys think was the key tonight? This was our first double-digit win of the season. Honestly, I came in telling my buddy, hey, Norman Powell's going to be huge. We saw it. I said, he's dropping 25. He did 26. He outdid me. We talked about it all night. Norman Powell going off is going to be key for the Clippers tonight, and he did, and, get, and that's exactly what happened. Clippers won. Ad like, yeah, go ahead. Addition by subtraction. Yeah, man, we might have to get that on a T-shirt, the way Norman Powell is playing right now. Four and four now. We're back to 500. I think we can spark a little winning streak. The home stand comes to an end, I believe, on Saturday. Yeah. What do you guys think? Saturday, actually. Thoughts on that one? I'm excited. Yeah. A team against the Raptors? Hey. Hopefully we can get that one. Obviously, I get with the with the team the Clippers have. There's no easy win, but a team against the Raptors, I think that's a, that's a team that the Clippers can definitely win. So I'm looking forward to Saturday. Appreciate you guys. Great win. Go Clippers as always. Thank you guys. No, I appreciate you, bro. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Outside into a dome where the Clippers have just beaten Paul George in his return. What's your name, bro? I'm Shosh. Shosh, let me ask you this, bro. What did you think of the game and uh, your thoughts on Paul George? Okay, so the game, I thought it was great, but I don't think the six, I thought the Sixers were a bit unserious with the way they're managing their minutes. Like, Ty, like Paul George not playing the third quarter, like barely. Tyrese not even checking back in, but Tyrese played bad. But for, as far as Paul George goes, I think Tyrese got hurt and Paul George on a minutes restriction. Yeah, he was on a minutes restriction in the last game too. Okay, but as far as um, as far as like my feelings towards Paul George, it's like very mixed. Like I'm really happy about that 2020. That was a very special season. 2021, yeah. Yeah, but like I don't know. If last few seasons very unserious and like how. How can you expect us to give us a good return if he's talking shit about us saying oh you guys are the b team and then saying oh we want to, we want to win a championship for this for this city so badly and then he leaves us like that i don't know it's just it's just a bit weird but i, I don't I, I felt bad booing him but i ended up booing him anyways just because it just went with the flow and uh yeah Overall, though, thoughts on the win. Norman Powell's been great. Two wins in a row, back to 500. Norman Powell, 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 Powell. Yeah, he's been he's been amazing. Like he said, addition by subtraction. He's very consistent, just insane. He, every time he shoots that three, it's just money. Every time he come off the curl. Yeah, that curl to his right. right. Or he shoots the contested three and it goes in. Or he can or attacking closeouts, pump fake, get to the mid-range. Everything is always a bucket. He never missed. It's crazy. Yeah, man. A pretty... his defense is much. Sorry, his defense is much better. The only problem is the rebounding against the Spurs last game. But his, his defense is much better this season. That's the main thing that I'm really happy about. Yeah, and I noticed it tonight as well. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. We getting this next win uh, on Saturday? Uh, aren't we playing the Kings on Friday or not? Is that not? Are we playing the Kings on Friday? I only we're taking the Kings on Friday. I just take it one game at a time. We're playing the Kings on Friday on the road. Yeah, I think I think we have a good chance because our defense is really good. Like Paul George cooked this game, but he was just making tough shots. Right, know. and we know he can do that. Yeah, I don't know if the Kings have any guys who make super tough shots like that the way he does. And Chris Dunn will be a, do a really good job on uh, De'Aaron Fox next game. So I think I think we have a really good chance of, of winning against against Sacramento. But I'm not 100 percent sure. I'll just get, guess the Clippers dub just for just for the fun of it. But I don't know. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Go Thank Clippers. You, you. Yeah. Outside into a dome where the Clippers have just gotten a big win in Paul George's return. V. Swass, say you're a dime dropper fan. How you feeling about this one and Paul George's return? Tell me about the experience. Yeah, this is my first game here at Into a Dome, so getting the dub feels really good. Paul George, about him, obviously he, he himself, even though he was on minutes restriction, he had a pretty good game. So if he had a bad game, it would have felt a little bit better. But, you know, we, we got to take the win. You know, it was a big win. Get us back to 500, so we take it. Talk to me about Norman Powell, man. He's been on an absolute heater this season. Could you ever have expected this? To be honest, I, when, when, we, when we talked about him starting, I, I was kind of iffy because we know that we need some scoring off the, off the bench. 
but he's been he surpassed all my expectations. Like we already knew he was consistent, but his consistency this season has been unreal. I think like besides the first game, he's been like above 500 every game, man. It's ridiculous. All star above, above 50 percent from shooting, you're saying? Yeah, 100. percent I think he, he's going for the All Star game this year, man. I'm telling you. Right. We'll see him in February in the All Star game. We'll take that. Uh, any prediction for the next game or the next two games? Next two games. I mean. I, I'm optimistic about this team because besides that Thunder game, like we've been in every game. You know, yeah. even in the Thunder game, like we were in it to the fourth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we we have we've had a chance to win every single game, and I I think that's how it's going to be the entire season. You know, so yeah, I'm optimistic, man. Appreciate you, bro. Go Clippers. Thank you. Thank you, man. Outside into a dome where the Clippers have just beaten Paul George in his return. Masai, you've been one of my day ones, dude. Yeah. How are we feeling about tonight's game, man? And and the hostility Paul George received, everything. When I woke up this morning, they had three goals. Get to the into a dome, boo Paul George, and get a win. Got all three. You know, I'll say this. When we got Paul George back in 2019, I never expected I'd be buying a ticket to boo him. Things happened. He didn't live up to expectations. There a lot of bad things about us. So now we have to give it to him. We got the win. It's a pretty good night. How do you feel about Norman Powell right now, man? He's on an absolute heater. I mean, now we're back to 500. He said in the offseason addition by subtraction. And you know, Norm likes to get his shots up. And now he has a bigger role with George gone, Leonard's gone, James Harden, you know, in the decline. So, you know, this is an opportunity. He's been playing really well. I'm pretty impressed with Norman Powell so far. I really love what he's brought to the team so far. Appreciate it, bro. Four and four, on to the next one. Maybe we're yes, above 500. Sir. Hopefully. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, bro. All right, thank you. Outside into a dome where the Clippers have just beaten the Sixers by double figures in Paul George's return. Cam. Give me your thoughts, baby. Great to see you. Listen, I'm happy. We beat Paul George in his return, spoiled it. He won't have to talk on podcast piss anymore <laughs> about the cavalry. Essentially, whatever he has to say. But hey, listen, I'll take the W. Obviously, the team has areas to grow in. The coach has areas to grow in. Um, I've been impressed with Norman Powell. He definitely showed out today. Um, obviously, his comments about addition by subtraction, just great. I think one of my favorite moments was. Probably just a splash right in PG's face right there. Yeah. Um, Terrence Mann also crossing him over. But good good outing. I liked it. I liked what I saw today. Only thing I don't like still is K, is K, I call him KP Joker. But um, KPJ, he's still iffy with me. i still rather give Bones, maybe even Jordan Miller a shot. But, yeah, and then the only other Clipper that's really been impressing me has been Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn's defense has been amazing, and then whether he gets his offense or not, it is what it is. But I thought his defense has been great to start the season off. But look, you'll take a victory one game at a time. I'll take it. Absolutely. Great to see you, Cam. Appreciate you, bro. Outside into a dome where the Clippers have just beaten Paul George in his return. Andrew, you've been a longtime Clipper fan. How was this night in terms of atmosphere, the results, everything? First off, I just want to give a shout out to Dime for starting the Paul George sucks chance or PG sucks. Without him, I don't know. The atmosphere was feeling pretty friendly at first. But yeah, overall, it's great to get that win against Paul George. And, you know, the atmosphere with the wall and the supporter section, it's getting there. But I think they could work out some, some things with it. Let me ask you a question, bro. Uh, first, I'll ask you about Norman Powell. How do you feel he's been? Because he's been incredible. And then secondly, a lot of empty seats, bro. I want to ask you about both. Yeah, so Norman Powell, I mean, he's totally stepped up, taken sort of Paul George's ro uh, role. Totally think he can handle that. He can handle it for the whole season. So he's really going to lead us. Hopefully we can get in that, still that play-in. We got to watch out. Houston's draft pick is top 10 protected. So maybe we get the play-in and we face Houston, beat them, and then we keep our pick. They, OKC takes their pick. And then for the empty seats, empty seats. I, I think that's just how it's going to be. Like tonight would be the night to uh, have the top filled. Maybe I, I couldn't see up the wall, but if the top of the wall was filled. Why is that you think is happening right now? Uh, I just don't think our fan base is sort of like that in a way, like just to show up when we don't have stars or Kawhi. I mean, do you think it's the lack of Kawhi? I think it's a lack of Kawhi and Honestly, I don't know though because the arena is great and it's the parking and the tickets and everything. I was gonna say that's that's something Yeah, it's disappointing, but maybe if we get in the play-in or we host a playoff game, it'll it'll fill up but. Yeah, appreciate you bro. Thank you so yeah, much. You know, Go Clippers. Yes, sir. Shout out Paul Davis <laughs> Any Clipper fan knows Paul Davis that means a real fan Outside into a dome where the Clippers have just won an in commanding fashion against Paul George in his return Edward Vera, how you feeling about this one? I know you got a lot of strong takes. Oh man, I'm feeling great about this win. Um, I wish PG would have got no points, but you know um, he did score a little bit. 
Um, I didn't like the cheering, you know, but I did love the booze the whole game. Uh, I love how we put the double digit win on him. Um, I love how everybody came out, played hard, teamwork. Um, everybody put in, everybody contributed. Uh, I really have no complaints. Um, they could have played better. You could always play better. But today, I think they played a solid game and got the win, and I appreciate it. How do you feel about the state of the team right now? Two wins in a row. Norman Powell's killing it. Uh, still no Kawhi. You know, give me your thoughts, because you're never afraid to express your frustrations. Um, I hate the whole Kawhi situation, but as far as all the guys on the floor, I appreciate all the work everybody's doing. I appreciate Norman Powell coming out, playing his heart out, because we need everybody to step up, and he's stepping up when his number's being called. Um, I appreciate Derek Jones Jr. bringing that defense because this is a blue-collar team, and he's bringing that atmosphere back, and I really appreciate that from him. I appreciate Kai Jones, all that slamming, all that rebounding, hard work. I appreciate everybody on the team. I mean, um, you know, Team Man could do a little bit better, but, you know, I appreciate him and everything he's doing, and, you know, I appreciate him coming back. So, Was the atmosphere good enough for you? The atmosphere was good. You know, there could always, there could always be more seats in the arena, but, you know, I appreciate everybody that showed up, every Clipper fan that showed up and cheered because that's what we need. There you go. Thank you, Edward. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Outside into a dome where the Clippers have just beaten the Sixers by double digits and Paul George's return. Mason, you were saying that you were ready to boo him. Oh and did you? And how did it feel? Oh, I felt I felt very good at booing him. By the way, shout outs to you leading all those PG sucks chants. Some of them were the guy next to me, but I'll take some credit yeah, for him. Jose. There was a very strong PG Sucks contingent in the middle of rows 10 and 11. And I'm proud to say I was part of that, you know. Uh, and, oh, man, pretty, like the, sw the swell was going off on PG just every time. There was the swell, by the way, for clarity, the swell is the supporter section name. Go ahead. Like any time there was some dead ball, just a PG Sucks chant would randomly start. Even if there was whatever just happened had nothing to do with PG, there was still PG sucks chance. It was beautiful. Yeah. Don McClay. Oh, Getting snubbed by Don McClain. All right, last question. Norman Powell, he's been absolutely cooking. Any thoughts on him right now? Because he's probably been our player of the season at this point. Yeah, dude's been on a tear, I got to say. Like, when he said that addition by subtraction thing, I know he got kind of climbed on, but, I mean, clearly he was on to something. And, I mean, in this game, he got more points than PG. There we go. We'll take that. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, mate, uh, he, he was like, the, he was kind of cooking with that. Two wins on the bounce. Can we make it three at Sacramento? That's going to be a tough one. I mean, yeah, I, th I think we could beat the Kings. And then we better come back and beat Toronto. Oh, please, please. We got to beat Toronto. We got to beat the Warriors. God, we need to beat those stupid Warriors. See you on Saturday? Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Outside into a dome where we've just gotten some payback on Paul George and his return for all his little sly comments and all the shit that he said over the past, I don't know, couple of months. This was the first Clipper game I'd ever been to and probably the second in Clipper history where a player got booed on every touch with Elton Brand being the first, interestingly enough, for the Sixers. But this was different, nationally televised game, booed relentlessly the whole game. And for those that are wondering why we're booing him, just look at my channel. You will hear the entire story. And here's my thing, I still got love for Paul George long term and five to 10 years, we'll be able to celebrate what he did in 2021. But I want to really emphasize, it was one year. The other years he was bad and he made excuses and went half-ass. Tonight, funny enough, was one of those nights where he makes all his contested jumpers. And honestly, I think he should have shot the ball even more. But he seemed like he was on some kind of a minutes restriction. And we honestly, I was kind of happy that he didn't play as much because he was hitting. But I thought our defense was still solid the entire game. Switching very much, like a lot, one through four. And even with that small ball line of switching one through five, James Harden in the beginning I thought was poor defensively, but as the game went on, he was better. We had a lot of great moments of good hands. I think we forced 20 turnovers as a team, and a lot of that comes from our ball pressure, our active hands, and the way we rotate. And that's one thing about our team is, man, we're gonna be a good defensive team. Tyrese Maxey, before he got hurt, was held in check, and the other shooters in the Sixers just don't really scare me. As far as the offense, I thought we got some solid contributions from Derek Jones Jr. in transition, Amir Coffey with another good game, Evita Zubats with a near double-double, so he's consistently been good, and we were actually feeding him the ball for stretches. But for me, the standout is Norman Powell. I mean, James Harden, if he could just start making some shots consistently, that would help a lot. I know he's the number one option. It's not what he's supposed to be at this age, so it's kind of taxing for him. He's not getting clean looks, so we'll see about that. But Norman Powell, him coming off that curl to his right is just bread and butter right now. There seems like there's no stopping it. 
I think teams should try top blocking it and seeing what happens from that. But man, he's coming off and he's turning the corner and he's actually starting to make plays. We saw some solid kickouts on the drive tonight. By the way, my voice is basically lost. I was booing super hard, but I'm so proud of Norm. That addition, as everyone's been saying, that addition by subtraction comment is aging like fine wine. He's averaging 20 plus points a game. He's gonna be at like 24, 25 after this game. And I mean, it's amazing what he's doing, especially with not really creating his own shot too much, but he's starting to get more aggressive doing that. And one thing I'll give him, he's got a greater scoring appetite than PG. PG gets, you know, hesitant, but Norm, he's guns blazing at all times trying to get his shot. So shout out to Norman Powell, shout out to the guys. It was really satisfying to get a win and by double digits, our first double digit win of the season. So it was just a great cherry on top of what was an awesome night. The fans were on Paul George's ass all night. The only thing is the empty seats. We re-signed Kawhi to fill up the arena, and it's not happening. I don't know. It doesn't make me feel good and also makes me think, like, I mean, when's this guy going to come back? Because if you add him back, we're going to be really good. We're going to be really good. But we'll take it. Paul George, I hope you're watching this, motherfucker. <laughs> Walking out with an L. Go Clippers. Subscribe, like, comment. Let's go. Appreciate you.